in this video I am going to explain about the prisms and the volume of a prism. Now what is a prism? Let us suppose that we uh, have a cardboard which is of the shape of a rectangle let us suppose and if you if you pile up a number of uh, cardboard pieces of, of, of the same shape like here if I will stock up a number of pieces of cardboard like this and then the other one will come right here. In this way you will be you will be able to you will be able to have a shape like this if you will stack up uh, a number of cardboard pieces having rectangular shape. So, you will be getting a shape like this. Now, in this shape I may call it a cuboid. Now, when you are going to take a cross section from anywhere from the shape within the from within the shape then this cross section will be same as the top of the shape that is the top you may call it the top surface or the base. So, this cross section is uniform throughout the height of this cuboid take the example of this triangular prism. Now, this is this one is the base this top or you may call it this as the base. Now, if you are going to take a cross section cross section from anywhere if I am going to cut it from anywhere then the shape will be the same at, at every cross section. So, your cross section is uniform throughout the height of this shape. So, this is the property of prism that the cross section is uniform and like here if, if you see the we have here hexagonal shape we have 6 sided 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here we have 6 sided polygon. Now, this polygon travel all along the length of the prism if you will cut it at any point you will find that your cross section is exactly the same as here in the base. Uh, if you will compare the top one or the bottom one your cross section will be same at every point. So, this is a prism all these are prisms a prism has a uniform polygonal cross section we have three words here uniform mean the cross section will not change polygonal mean we are having polygons here cross section mean when you will cut it anyway when you will cut it horizontally like this in this way then the shape will be same as here on the top or at the bottom. So, this is the concept of a prism. Volume of prism is basically base area multiplied by height of prism. Now, what is base area of a prism? Now, Suppose this is a cuboid and because my cross sectional area is uniform throughout its height. So, this is a prism. Now, this one is the base the top surface we take it as the base of prism and the distance between two bases this one is the base at the other end. Now, the distance between these two bases is basically the height of prism. Suppose if this is my triangular prism this is triangular because my base is triangle here in this case that is why this prism is triangular prism. Now, what is the height of prism? If I am I am considering this base and this base then the distance between my bases will be height of prism. You are taking this cross section and this cross section. So, height will be this one between the bases that you are considering the cross sectional bases that you are taking. And in this hexagonal prism it is a hexagonal prism at all because I have a hexagon as its base. So, it is hexagonal prism. The distance between these two bases the bottom one and the top one from where I am considering my cross sections this one and this one. So, the distance between these two bases will be my height of prism. 
and the base is this top one this shape is the base of prism this hexagon is base of prism here we have a triangle as base of prism here i have a rectangle as base of my prism now the question is you have to calculate the volume of this prism now in this case first of all we need to identify what is our base the base is a parallelogram which is this one i am shading over here now this is my base of prism here this base travels all along the length of the prism if you will take your cross section at any point you will find that this will be the same shape as this one so your cross section will be uniform so this is your base and the distance between the two bases which you are considering this one and this one is the height of prism so this is your height of prism which is 6 in this case the distance between this base and this base if you consider it as your base the other base okay so the distance between these two bases will be the height now what is the area of base this base is a parallelogram and area of parallelogram is b into h I mean base of parallelogram which is 2 and h is the vertical distance or the perpendicular distance between two parallel sides of a parallelogram these are two parallel sides now the perpendicular distance between these two parallel sides which is 1 meter is the height so base is 2 and height is 1 this is area of parallelogram which is base in this case into height of prism which is 6 the height mean the distance between two bases so simplifying this 2 into 1 is 2 and multiply by 6 12 meter cube will be volume of prism in this case if you want to know the volume of this prism you need to multiply the base area which is triangular triangle here so area of triangle multiply by height which is the distance between these two bases if you want to know the volume of this prism then the base is a rectangle so base area mean area of rectangle into height which is the distance between two bases so in, in this way you can find a uh, volume of prisms so prisms uh, have different bases the shapes are different uh, you may have a trapezium as a base in a prism so you need to know how you to calculate areas of different shapes if you want to know the volumes of prism that's it for today we will going to, we are going to do surface area of prism cylinders volume area in the in the coming lectures thank you so much